because that's how I I find it really important to share my story from time to time for a few reasons. For starters, anytime you're dealing with postpartum issues, diastasis, prolapse, pelvic floor concerns, there's a whole lot of why me. At least that's how I felt. There wasn't a lot of hope at the time. So I'd like to give you a little bit of hope to know that it can and will get better. It takes a lot of energy and effort and some boring exercises, but it can improve. It really can. I also like you to know that it takes time because we see so much of the quick bounce back. We see so many of like the six weeks or 21 days or 30 days. And most of us, when we're doing rehab work, it takes a lot longer than that. It does. It just does. I never try to sell you snake oil on the process. I'm like, this is what it is. It takes a hot minute. You're going to get there one day at a time. And that's how it goes. Another reason I really like to share my story is because I kind of did everything wrong. And I literally switched professions because I was like, I'm going to make sure women don't do everything wrong. So I wasn't able to work out during my twin pregnancy from 12 weeks on because I had bleeding. They never quite figured out a cause. They think maybe a subchorionic hematoma. Don't know. I was essentially on pelvic floor bed rest the whole pregnancy, meaning I couldn't exercise and I couldn't have sex. It was not fun. Not fun. So, of course, after I have these babies, I make it to 38 weeks. I have seven and six pound twins. And I'm like, I'm on shit up. I'm coming. I had been a competitive CrossFit athlete. Like, working out is my jam. I was, like, ready to hit the ground running. So... I ran before my six-week appointment and after not having done anything exercise-wise or any rehab. Go to my six-week OBGY appointment. I'm like, hey, is it cool that I'm running? She's like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, is it cool if I do ab exercises? You know, at the time I thought that just meant set up subconscious. And she was like, yeah. I was like, great, because I really want to lose this belly. So what do you think I do? I'm like, crazy. I go home. I'm running. I'm doing sit-ups like crazy. Easy. And finally, around six months postpartum, I literally Google, there's a football popping out of my stomach when I do sit-ups. It looks like a freaking football. It was like literally the size of a Nerf football, like from top to bottom and just like, and it comes up that it could be diastasis recti. So I make an appointment with my OBGYN. I was like, oh, I think we got a problem here. And she was like, oh no, that's just cosmetic. She's like, do you do bodybuilding competitions? I was like, no. She's like, then you're good. That cannot be the answer. She's like, well, you can have surgery. Lo and behold, I find in like a mommy chat room, pelvic floor PT changed my life. If you can see a pelvic floor PT, please do. It will hopefully change yours as well. So anyway, by the time I go to pelvic floor PT, my gap is like a four and a half finger width. Basically, you could fit a fist, like between my hand, like all the way deep, like mush. Um, I have to really like pull back on the intense exercise I was doing and take the time to retrain my brain, my muscles, and come to find out I never really even knew how to use my breath with my core and pelvic floor, and I had been like an avid athlete my whole life, so I was like, why was I not taught this? I put in a couple years of rehab, I called pelvic floor PT one day on her cell phone like long after I had graduated, and I was like, Diana? I gotta teach women how to do this. Like, we should all be, this should be standard. Like, why are we not teaching every woman to do this? And so she kind of took me under her wing and I took courses and I got certified and was like, this is it. Like, I'm teaching women this stuff. So, um, you know, the silver lining from my personal journey is that I came out stronger in all the ways. Take it to view and that.